This video will show you how to clean the ink absorber on a Brother printer. This model is a MFC J4620DW and this will be applicable for a number of models. So first unplug the power cable and remove the paper tray. Lift the scanner cover and remove, remove the scanner support arm. You can do that by pushing in the tab at the back and pull it towards you. Lift the arm to a 90 degree angle and lift it upwards. Support the scanner against a wall or something to hold it while the support arm has been removed. Next remove the wire panel cover by lifting it from the right to the left and then unscrew the Phillips head screw that's holding down the black ground wire. Next, remove the black data ribbon by gently lifting it up. You don't want to accidentally tear that in any way. And there'll be four different plugs to undo, um, which should free the, the wire harness. Lift that up towards the scanner and unplug the the black tab that's holding the ribbon cable down. Lift up the scanner cover by pushing away from you and then undo four screws that are holding down the device cover panel. Pull out any plugs that might be in for the, the extension or, or fax line. And then there's just two more Phillips head screws at the back of the device cover that you'll also need to remove. Now you can lift the device panel up and remove that from the machine. Now on the bottom right hand side you can see a a black and clear plastic box, that's the ink absorber box. Remove the chip at the front of the box and the two ink tubes at the back of the box and unclip and remove the ink absorber box. You'll need to cut the plastic film on the ink absorber box. Try to cut it as minimally as you can because you will need to just tape that back together if you're not replacing the absorber box at this stage. Gently remove the felts. Try to keep them in an order because you'll need to reassemble that later. And clean them thoroughly in soapy water. Place them on paper towels or, or blow dry them in order to dry them completely before you reinstall them. And there is another absorber felt on the left hand side. Just dab that as much as you can with paper towel to remove any excess ink. Fan out the felts because they'll be a bit squashed from washing them. And then reinsert them into the cleaned ink absorber box. Tape the the plastic that you cut to make sure that's all sealed and reinstall back into the machine. Don't forget the ink tubes at the back and the chip. Now just reassemble the whole printer just the same as you disassembled it. When you reinstall the support arm just make sure you put it back in carefully otherwise you might have trouble removing that to put it back in. Plug back in the power cable, put in the printer tray and turn the power on. You'll need to access maintenance mode and clear the purge counter and also the flush counter. I do a video on how to do this as well. And then you're all good to go. If you have any problems with this or if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment. 